Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. So I left off yesterday's vlog with a huge haul of all the home stuff. So today I thought after my berries workout, I would go home and shower and show you guys how I've been styling some of the pieces. Paul and I washed all the cutlery and dishes last night, so that will be all done. And I'm excited to finally have our place kind of almost done. I know we're still missing a bunch of things, but for now, that will do. Also, oh shoot, I actually have to go. My berries class is in four minutes and I'm like a 10 minute walk. So let's go. Don't mind my band-aids all over my fingers. I had to rip off all my acrylics because they were painful. If you guys know what I mean when you have acrylics and just something ain't right, you just gotta rip them all off. And now I have band-aids all over my nails, but let's go to our workout. Workout is complete. I'm dying right now. I think tomorrow is literally supposed to be 98 degrees in Chicago and I cannot wait to get to the pool. Maybe I can convince Paul to go with me. We have a pool in our like complex so we just have to go a couple floors down but he's probably gonna have a busy like work schedule so I don't know if he'll do that with me but hopefully we can go to the pool tomorrow guys. I literally had to rip all of my band-aids off mid berries class because they were all falling off and now my fingers hurt so badly. Don't even look at them. They look terrible. I don't think I will get them done until next month, but that is fine. Today's plan, we need to go home and organize because there's still so much to do, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. I am so, so happy to be in our place. I am just so grateful that Paul and I finally got a place together. We definitely just needed our own space, so it worked out perfectly. I will see you guys back at the apartment. I showered and decided to put my hair in rollers. This is like my first time really putting them in rollers. It's definitely not perfect, as you can tell, but I thought I would give it a try. I definitely have a lot of hair, so it took me a second, but I think once I get the hang of things, it will be much easier. Now I thought I would get ready with you guys just because I haven't put any makeup on in a couple of days so it's it's nice to get ready once in a while. So I have a little mirror right next to me. Maybe while I'm doing my makeup I can just update you guys on what's happening around our place. So we're kind of all on the same page and then we can film some updates around the apartment and I can show you guys how everything's looking so far. My skin has been absolutely freaking out, which kind of sucks because summer, you don't really want to wear a lot of makeup and I'm definitely feeling more insecure about my skin, but that's okay. I'm just brushing my brows right now through and all of my baby hairs are getting in the way. So. First, of course, Anastasia brow was. I definitely need to get my brows done soon too. The updates about our place so far. I actually got a new piece of furniture for this room. So I was at a church rummage sale near my home and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just peek by just cause they usually have really cool stuff. And I went and they had this cute dresser for 10 bucks. So I got it and I think it's gonna look so nice in here. It's such a steal for $10 and it's a whole dresser. I have a bunch of clothes that I still need to put away. Like our closet is definitely nowhere near to be done. So I can definitely store some clothes in here. I also, oh, there is so much to explain to you guys. We also got our TVs mounted. We have three TVs in this apartment, which might sound kind of crazy, but one is for our bedroom, another is for our living room area, and then third one is for Paul's like gaming slash office space. We got two of the three TVs mounted. The third one's just gonna be sitting on a TV stand and a TaskRabbit came by. It was our first time using a TaskRabbit and he was so helpful. And while he was here, I was like, maybe I'll just ask him to do my floating shelves. So he put up four floating shelves for me. 
and I will show you guys them. I'm really excited because I plan to put my shoes on there. And so he put that up. It's like all leveled and even, which is perfect. And then he also mounted that mirror right there. My dad was really afraid that if it was just laying against the wall on the ground that by chance it would fall over and my dad's such a safety guy. So he was like, uh-uh. There it is on the wall. I don't know if I love it on the wall, but honestly, Makes my dad happy, I'm fine with it. I don't know if I showed you guys during the empty apartment tour, but part of Paul's flooring and ceiling needs to be redone. And the people actually came to redo the ceiling portion, which was really nice. There was some water leaking from the above unit, and so they came in, fixed it, but they still need to fix the flooring part, so I feel bad. So his office is technically in the family room area, and I feel bad because he works from home majority of the time, and it's probably very distracting to be right in the middle of everything. He's been a trooper about it. And yeah, so as soon as they're coming back for the floor, that would be really nice. Someone also needs to come fix the inside of the tub of the master bedroom. So the tub just needs to be refinished, I believe that's what it's called. Like a new coating or sealant or something like that just because it was looking a little old and crusty and so he needs to come fix that and then pretty much be all done with any fixing stuff. Of course, there's things around the apartment that Paul and I personally want to do, like change out the lights to LED lights because like this yellow light right here is not giving me what I want. And I want everything to be brighter. And we do have a good amount of window space, but still I would love more lighting. I think it would be really nice for the videos. I just did my usual brow routine, if you guys are wondering. So Anastasia Brow Gel, this is in the color blonde the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Soft Brown, and then the KVB Angled Brush in 70. That is like my go-to eyebrow stuff. Oh, let's put a little moisturizer on. I'm just using the rest of my Vitamin Nectar Moisture Glow Face Cream from Fresh. I love this stuff, it smells so delicious. And then I will take my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I love this stuff. I've kind of been MIA on social media just because of this whole move-in situation and I apologize for that but moving in is so stressful and there's so much to do and I felt like I want to capture everything but also I don't want to just pull out a camera and put it in everyone's face while we're like struggling to move in. You know what I mean? We're basically completely moved in. We just need to organize everything which won't be bad. My Elta MD. UV clear sunscreen. This is the best, guys. It's definitely been getting so hot here in Chicago, so I've been lathering up the sunscreen because it's been like 90 plus, which is kind of crazy. It's crazy. Now I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the color 7 Neutral. I never use a brush for this, but I do not want to wet my beauty sponge, so we're gonna try this right now. I'm probably gonna have to go. Yeah, see, I hate how brushes make, like I love this brush, but I don't know if you guys can tell, it makes my foundation look streaky. I know you're supposed to like buff it in and everything, but what else do I need to tell you guys? Oh, also, I just, this morning I just purchased Road Skin, or Road by Hailey Bieber her new skincare line. And I'm super excited to get that in the mail. I'm gonna grab my Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I don't know if they make this anymore, guys. This is, I don't even know the shade. I just like it because it's very lightweight. Do a little bit of one size turn up the base concealer just in the inner corner like that. I'm really not even getting ready for anything, to be honest. Like, I have no plans today. I could always run errands, because your girl loves to do that, but plans-wise, I don't have anything. I just need to clean. Oh, I also can give you guys a update on my closet, because 
I bought those hangers that I showed you guys, the pant hangers, and I'm absolutely in love with them. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't just because I didn't know if they would hold my pants very well. I thought my pants would fall off of them, but I've had no problem whatsoever. You should see Paul's side versus my side. It's kind of hilarious because he is the most organized person I know. And then if you look at my side, before it really was crazy, but now it's looking a little better. Let's do this. This is the Merit Cheek Color in Beverly Hills. To set my under eyes, I use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in one. If you guys haven't tried this, this is actually really nice for setting your under eyes on just like an everyday basis. I, I really like how it doesn't crease my under eyes. I like a lot of blush. So I'm gonna take the Nude Sticks in Sunkiss. This is the, uh, oh, this is a bronze color. Okay, well, your girl has not been using it to bronze. I use it for blush, but this is in the color Sunkissed. This is like really pigmented. I'm gonna use my Merit Little Highlighting Stick. I just put a little bit right here and under my eyebrow. I really like this, it's really lightweight. I just tap it in with my finger. It gives just a nice glow. I don't need no crazy highlight right now. Last but not least, I got mascara, of course, my holy grail, L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black and Rommel Lash Accelerator for my bottom this is for my top I'm gonna do this off camera and then for lips I will come back all right done with my mascara cleaned it all up and now I'm just gonna grab Mac subculture line my lips nothing crazy to be honest and then for gloss I think I will do just my Fenty gloss balm in fussy that was just a quick get ready with me. Now let's take out these rollers. Did y'all see that? Wait, this actually might have turned out not bad. Another one. Okay, they're kind of cute. Okay, I will do the rest off camera and then I will come back and show you guys. So this is how my hair turned out. I don't know. I think I still need to get used to doing curlers and seeing what works best for me, but for my first try, this isn't that bad in my opinion. Some might say it is, but I'm all done getting ready now. So let's show you some updates of the apartment. So I told you guys how we got the TV mounted. So this is it. This is our new TV. We got it recently. We got a 75 inch, which is <laughs> pretty crazy and then Paul brought his speaker and then this thing right here guys is actually a Ikea shelf that we thought would be perfect to place under the TV over the fireplace just to redirect the heat almost like a mantle the fireplace actually has like a shelf I don't know if you guys can tell like right here but we were just afraid of any damage to the TV. So we got that installed and I think it looks perfect. And also it's perfect for the sound bar and the cable box to be on it. We just have this table right here for now to hold the Wi-Fi box. This lamp is from Ikea. So we have two of them on each side of the TV. So I'm currently in our bedroom and it's for sure the best lighting in the entire place. Who's texting me? Let's see. We're currently in the master bedroom right now, and I love the lighting. It's we're still like I'm. I'm probably saying this so many times, but we're still organizing, so everything's still a mess. But let me show you guys our bed right now. I love our bed. This is our bed, guys. We got the bed frame from Soft Frame Designs. I will definitely link them down below. They are a small business, so definitely go check them out. I love the bed frame, absolutely obsessed. It definitely reminds me of the cloud bed from Restoration Hardware, so I am super happy about that. And it's definitely not the crazy pricing like RH. I'm in love. And then currently we have two blankets on because we're still looking to buy a new duvet. We prefer to sleep with something really thick. Let me just show you guys. 
We just bought this duvet cover. I know it's all wrinkly, but we just washed it. It's from Target. It's from the Casa Luna or Casa Luna brand at Target. It's this nice white linen and I love it. It is so soft and I love all the Casa or Casa Luna products at Target. So I'm really happy we got that. It also came with two shams. So those two pillowcases are part of the set. And then this blanket on top is just from Ikea. And that is what we've been using and we're obsessed. Our bed seriously feels like a cloud and we love it so much. Probably my favorite piece in the entire apartment. And then as you guys can see, don't mind my crazy mess over there, but these bedside tables are actually from Ikea. Maybe I'll show you Paul's because this is nicer. But they're both from Ikea. They are definitely not my first choice, but they definitely get the job done. We wanted something that had a drawer and then also had space under, and this is just what we found. And it was relatively easy to build. And yeah, so we have matching ones. We definitely wanted to keep the apartment pretty white and bright. We're definitely going to add some like accent pieces or decor, but we wanted the bedroom to kind of feel like really airy and bright. Should I show you guys other things? Okay. Let me move. Don't mind the craziness. This is the dresser that Paul just got. It matches my dresser. Oh my gosh, it's crazy messy, I know. So this dresser matches my dresser. It's a little smaller, but it gets the job done. This is from Home Depot, mine's from Ikea. He was trying to get the one that I have, but it got discontinued, we believe. So we got this. We just got this new trash can, like you guys probably saw from the container store. And then this is our TV that's mounted. We're still gonna try to hide these cords and stuff even in the living room, but this is what we got. We love it. We love watching Netflix before bed just to wind down together. And the latest thing we've been doing is watching a Disney movie before bed and it's been really nice because it's definitely lighthearted and your girl cries from a lot of Disney movies, but they always like made me feel good before bed and nothing too crazy, nothing too scary and Paul's always down for a good one so love that. I would show you guys more but it's just crazy. Like our bathroom don't even, don't even look, truly. It's, it's crazy. Updates about our closet. Don't worry, I'm going to change the lighting in here. Half of it is like dead and we need a new bulb but the lighting is like way too yellow for my liking so we're definitely going to change that out right now our closet is still in a work of progress but let me just show you guys sorry if the lighting is not that great okay clearly you can see whose side is who so i always color coordinate my clothes and i'm thinking the top rack is actually almost full and i have all of this space on the bottom so i'm gonna have to start pulling my clothes down to the bottom and then I also have a ton of pants that I need to hang. So I only have a couple over there, but that's what we got so far. And then I have just bags and stuff up there. And then I will show you Paul's side because it's definitely more organized than mine. He doesn't color coordinate, which is totally fine, but he has his clothes there. He has some clothes folded. His hats are up there. And then, his shoes, he actually is getting a shoe rack, so he will put that below there. And then I definitely need a better system for my sweatpants and sweatshirts, but so far I'm just folding them and putting them there because I have extra space because there's no like rack here. So I don't know if I should try to build a rack in here for extra space, which would actually be really nice. And I just thought of that idea or put a drawer there, I'm not sure. And then down here I have these baskets that I absolutely love from the container store and I hate having them on the ground but right now that is all the space I got. I was going to put it under here but then I can't see them. So I have hats, workout bras, those are tank tops and then over there I just have denim shorts. These are the hangers that I told you guys about and then let me just show you how I've been Oh, you guys cannot see anything. This is how I've been hanging my jeans, just like this. I've been hanging them 
in the closet like this so not as convenient as pulling it out like this but I think it's actually going to sit in the closet better make the hangers last longer that's what I read on the reviews on Amazon so that's how I've been doing it and I really like them I still have a ton of bags I need to put away we have boxes still everywhere the bathroom is still a mess let's see so we're in the kitchen now and before I make Paul some lunch, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So this cupboard is going to be our cups and glasses. So these cups are the ones from Crate and Barrel. I love these. And then these are from CB2, also super cute. And then these are Crate and Barrel. And then we just got a few random mugs up there, the PNY of course, and then our wine glasses, margarita glasses, and then extra reusable bottles. This is the new rice cooker that we got and we still have to clean out, but we just haven't had time, so that's on my to-do list. And then this cabinet will be our plates and bowls. These pasta bowls are from CB2. These plates, I believe, are from Ikea, and then these are from CB2. Those are from Ikea, these are from CB2. This one, I think, is from Ikea. It's a cute little pink bowl. Paul scale, because he weighs his food out. This is, like, still kind of crazy. It's, like, our appliances, so toaster, milk frother, our chopper, or, like, vegetable chopper. I don't know what that's called. A pro food processor, duh. A blender and then we have Tupperware up there oops and then this is like our drying rack right now but we need to figure out a better system for that so this is what I've been working on so I got these from the container store and I bought a bunch of them and try to organize our cabinets just because they're so deep that Without these, you can't really tell what you have. So this one I put for Paul's stuff. So he has oatmeal every morning. Guys, I'm not kidding. Every morning, the guy has oatmeal with that kind of granola, the Nature Valley granola. And so I stocked him up with that. Up here, he has his protein bars and Rice Krispie treats because he has that every day. He has collagen every day. And then on Sundays, we make pancakes together. So I put his pancake mix. And that, my friends, is the treats bin. And I purposely put it super high so I can't reach it as often as I want to. So if I want to have a snack, I have to get the step stool or I need to ask Paul. And then here, this is oatmeal, almond butter, some chocolate chips, and my favorite protein, which is the Fit with Cambry protein. I love that stuff, and I have backups back there. I don't you guys probably can't tell I have an extra chocolate and vanilla on deck those are like my essentials that I like to have here we have our sprays so we have Pam spray we have our olive oil spray avocado spray we have honey I'm actually gonna put this honey into our new honey jar so we can do that together how cute is this little honey pot from CB2 so we will put that in there more pancake mix for Paul right here and then extra olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette back there here is kind of miscellaneous cooking and superfood bins. So I have a bunch of like chia seeds, goji berries, chocolate chips, um, frosting, extra granola, stuff like that. This is just a bunch of sprinkles and then I have marshmallows back there. And then of course I needed a row for my poppy. Orange is superior. I still haven't tried the watermelon so that is next to try. I will eventually do a fridge tour for you guys, but right now it's pretty messy. Up here is still not as organized as I want, but see, I told y'all, he's literally snacking on a Rice Krispie. Okay, anywho, back to this. Sorry, my camera keeps overheating. Just wanted to quickly show you guys this cabinet. We just have some K cups. We are still waiting to get a Keurig. We need to get that ASAP. And then we have some extra seaweed packets and some Splenda. Down here, we have these two nice Lazy Susans are from the container store. We absolutely love them. We just have like tomato sauces, sriracha, Walden Farms, sesame oil, stuff like that. This one is more of our unopened things of extras. 
And then we have some Conjac Jelly pouches. Paul likes to snack on these, I do too. They're just fun to eat. They're from an Asian grocery store. Some matcha powder, some sleepy time tea. That is the matcha collagen powder that I love. We have a bunch of canned goods over here. Like all canned goods, canned beans, garbanzo beans, black beans, corn, chilies. This is our tomato sauces and chicken salad. We love eating chicken salad when we have nothing else to eat. We have here, this is just this beef soup stock. If you guys haven't tried this, we get this from an Asian grocery store here, but it's so delicious with just like tofu and some vegetables and seafood. I love making this. We have some japa getty, which is just some Korean noodles. We have some right rice and extra rice back there, some bacon bits. And then this is like our like workout split situations. This is actually Paul's vegan protein. He loves this chocolate milk one from Ghost. He also likes taking their pre-workout. This is their legend in the Sour Patch Red Berry. I drink the Ghost Burn in Mango. I really like that one. And then I also have my Celsius over here. Last but not least, this is the bowl we got from Target. I love it. It's like a perfect fruit bowl. And we had this whole thing filled with these nectarines from Costco. They're so delicious. They literally are so juicy. They fall all over your arms and then I just put an avocado. These I'm gonna bring to my parents. I also wanted to show you guys, we just recently picked these up from Marshalls, I believe. It's just a taco holder. We do do Taco Tuesday every week, so I thought that would be perfect. It comes in a set of two. And then we also grabbed OXO Good Grips Pop Container in the 5.5 core. I thought this would be perfect to store our rice just because since we did recently get a new rice cooker, we will be eating rice a lot and we wanted an airtight seal container, so we thought this would be perfect. And now we're gonna heat you up some lunch, or we'll heat up lunch for us. us. And then I think we're gonna go head to the pool. I have done this hot day. I know, we're gonna lay out, even though I just got ready, it's fine. I'm excited, maybe, hopefully it's not packed. I don't think it will be. But... No, I don't think it will be. That is the update on our apartment so far. We will continuously be fixing and changing things, but so far, so good. Yeah, this is beautiful. I know, I'm so grateful. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I warmed Paul up. We meal prepped the meat in the beginning of the week so we can easily eat it throughout the week, but it's just 96.4 beef. And then I grilled those vegetables. It's like zucchini, broccolini, onions, red bell pepper, and then he wanted some rice, so. I weigh everything out for him because he likes to track his meals, but that's his lunch and I will just have a smaller portion of this. Paul and I are trying to stop drinking so much soda, so I grabbed this. It's the Olipop in Orange Squeeze. I've tried this before, he's tried this before. He likes it, I like it. So this is a nice alternative to soda. So he will also be drinking this and I will be drinking a Poppy in Orange. How's the food? I love the bowl. I told you. The bowl is everything, right? You like the it ollie? It makes me feel high class. Oh. I love the ollie. It's yeah. actually probably the best healthy soda that we have. Really? You like it? Good. I'm glad. Okay, let's eat. Mm 